Greetings again from my study here at West Craig Hill Drive, and welcome to our midweek meditation on this, the 1st of February. Last Sunday was January the 29th. Sunday last was also the fourth Sunday in the season of Epiphany. Lent will soon begin. Next Sunday is February the 5th. I return to the daily prayer book for meditation. As I've said before, we continue seeing news clips of our Ukrainian brothers and sisters continuing to fight for their freedom from Putin's war as it continues now into its second year. So let us keep all of those who are involved in our intercessory prayers as we get there. Our meditation, reflection, and prayer today begins and ends with the phrase, The Lord's kindness is everlasting. And our psalm is Psalm 33. The scripture that forms the basis for our meditation is Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verses 2 through 6. We will then continue with some prayers of intercession, the Lord's Prayer, and the closing prayer, and then the sentence. The Lord's kindness is everlasting. And now reading from Psalm 33. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord for upon the harp. The ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new. Play skillfully with shouts of joy. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Our Lord is waiting, our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your merciful love be upon us, as we hope in you, O Lord. And now reading from the Gospel of Mark. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all of this? What kind of wisdom has been given to him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hand? Is he not the carpenter? The son of Mary? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people, by laying his hands upon them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Which brings us to the reflection for today. I have often felt like the crowd in today's gospel when someone from my town or my inner, inner circle begins to preach at me. I find myself asking who they think they are or what makes them think that they are so special. While, they may, while that may be triggered by insecurity or jealousy, it is usually an unfair assessment it is, however, important to recall that each and every one of us is gifted and called to share the good news. Like Jesus, it can be difficult to share the good news to, in the familiar places. We both need to be open to hear what others may be preaching, as well as to be open to being rejected for the Christ we reveal in our words and in our deeds which brings us to the prayers of the people in intercessory prayers, beginning with, with confidence, let us ask God to hear our prayers. O oh God, hear us. For those who teach the good news, we pray, O oh God, hear us. For those who are rejected by family, friends, or neighbors, we pray, O oh God, hear us. For those who are lonely, we, we pray, O oh God, hear us. 
for our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine as they continue fighting for their freedom, we pray. O oh God, hear us. For those who lack courage, we pray. O oh God, hear us. For the sick and the dying, we also pray. O oh God, hear us. Let us now offer the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us now close with these words. Lord Jesus, you performed mighty works, not only to reveal the goodness of God, but also from the love that fills your heart for your people. So open our eyes to see you in unexpected signs and deeds and in places that we find ourselves so that we may grow to love you more. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Well, in the sentence, the Lord's kindness is everlasting. That concludes this week's meditation. We return to our Bible study today on Zoom at four o'clock. We we are going to continue. We are going to change. I think the time for that. I'm not exactly sure. We now continue, however, studying the Book of Ruth. Sunday morning worship continues at 8:15 with fellowship after the service. So join us this Sunday for worship with live music in the sanctuary at 8.15 and fellowship after the service. Worship will then continue streaming live on Facebook. And if you don't happen to be a Facebook user, that's okay because the service will also be available on the Palmer Grease UCC YouTube channel later on on Sunday afternoon. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again next time.